So I just discovered tonight that I've never made a video on my Mila S8 Unique, so I got this vacuum cleaner earlier in the spring, I think in April, maybe March, off of Craigslist for $85, and if you know how much these vacuums go for new, you would know that that was a steal, or I should say went for, because they no longer make this particular model. So this machine was made in 2013. Um, the lady I bought the machine from, it was her parents, and it was definitely used, but they generally, for the most part, kept it in pretty good shape. Um, it was missing the floor tool, so I got a floor tool for it off of another Mila that I had that I ended up getting rid of. It was also missing this clip up here. You can see I still need to get some goo gone from this the tape they had around here to keep the the handle in. I um was able to get another set of non-electric Mila ones that I stole this clip off of. So that part's good to go. I had my friend service the power head because there was some grimy stuff inside the power head and uh I just didn't want to mess with it because I'm not terribly familiar with taking Mila's apart quite yet. What makes this machine special, even though they still make a very similar machine called the C3, which looks almost exactly like this, the Unique has this special sparkly, almost like a car-like finish to it that's very pretty and shiny, as you can probably tell in the video. The new one has a matte style finish, so it doesn't sparkle like this does. And this machine also has another unique feature, this velvety-like attachment storage compartment, which the later model does not have either, so that's another kind of a unique feature. Um, the higher-end mules also have this extra like rubber bumper-like material around the dusting brush to prevent um, whatever you're dusting from getting stretch, scratched if it's more delicate. Um, so that's kind of an interesting feature. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see, let me pull this up. You can see I have a genuine Mila GN bag in there. Always make sure to use genuine Mila bags um, in your Mila vacuum cleaner. Uh, you're paying a lot of money for the machine, so expect to pay a little more for your replacement bags and your replacement parts, you know. Um, but overall, for an 8-year-old vacuum, the machine's in good shape. It does also have this comfort switch, so I already have it plugged in, but you just press one button and it will start going in automatically. You don't have to keep your foot pressed on the button. It has this standby switch here too, which is kind of interesting. Um, the Hoover Dimension 1000 um, had that feature as well. Um, that was a vacuum cleaner that was made in the mid to late 80s. Um, other than that, I mean, like you could, you can see there are some scratches on the machine. I mean, what do you expect for an eight-year-old vacuum that was used? Um, the HEPA filter actually was newer when I bought it so I didn't have to replace that quite yet which is nice because they're probably going to be at least 30 or 40 dollars if I buy a genuine one um but yeah other than that it's a very nice vacuum like I said they are expensive vacuums this vacuum was probably about 1500 dollars new um so they weren't giving them away um but for what you got it's a very powerful quiet uh, an efficient vacuum cleaner. I work nights a lot, so I'm up odd hours of the day, and when I want a vacuum, I can't always use a loud vacuum just to be respectful to the people around me, so I quite often use this just because it's so quiet, um, which I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm using this vacuum to vacuum my apartment since I have company over coming over tomorrow, but it's already I don't even remember the time, but I think it's probably at least 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe even 10 o'clock now. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a great machine. I have it plugged in, so I'll run it quick. I was actually surprised. It was, I tried it before I started the video, and it was 
picking up stuff off this carpet that apparently my Hoover over there left behind, which surprised me. Um, maybe I just didn't have the Hoover on the right setting. Um, but I already have this adjusted to the right setting for this frise. You can see there's power controls on the handle here with a lot of different settings. So I'll start with by turning on the standby and then I'll be able to turn on the machine. So I had it on low speed, so it went right back to the speed it was on before. It also has this unique LED light and you'll see even when I turn off, it stays on for about 15 seconds after turning the machine off, which is another interesting feature. So let's bring up the speed a little bit. Oh. Must have picked something up already. And then we'll start the power head. So you can see it's extremely quiet. Um, the only real gripe I have with the machine, the cord is short. The hose is also short, but that's pretty much true of most European style canister vacuum cleaners. They don't tend to have as much surface area to vacuum. You can see even after I turn the standby off, this is gonna stay on for a few more seconds, which is interesting. Um, you know, I don't know how many people have actually vacuum in the dark, but uh, that feature is there. It does have a telescoping wand, which is really a necessary feature for any, any canister vacuum. So this vacuum really has everything you need in a vacuum. And, you know, you can't really get much better than Miele for buying vacuum cleaners other than maybe buying like a modern day, which is a central vacuum system. Um... They do have a lot of features. Um, they can get a little expensive to repair as they get older. The parts aren't cheap, but for the most part, they hold up pretty well as long as you take care of them. So I hope you enjoyed the video on this Miele Unique. Um, if you like these machines, um, I'm sure somewhere you can find one for sale. Um, you can still technically get the newer version of this machine new but it won't have all of the same features it will have most of the same features but not all of them and i think they're still a little bit over a grand um so but yeah that is the mila unique and i hope you enjoyed the video